Britain's hit the jackpot. These lucky girls are in for the ultimate surprise as they're getting the VIP treatment at the Chicago Sky Game. Wow. I know they are more than ready. We're talking tickets, backstage passes, wow. and memories they'll never forget. All thanks to a lemonade stand and some hard work, too. Tia Ewing is live with all the details. Tia. Hey, Tia. <laughs> we got a little song yes, going. I love the song that they created, right? The jingle, Ice Cold Lemonade. I mean, it just never gets old. I mean, it's so simple, but so relevant, right, on a hot day like today. So the sisters have been out here since Monday. Uh, they came out here yesterday for a few, and they're back out here today. Uh, I didn't even tell them all of the news, right? I heard you guys say the VIP experience, but one thing I didn't tell them that I'm going to tell you guys they're going to get to meet Angel Reese, the real Chicago Barbie, which I know they're really excited about. Now, this all started with the in-game host, Sean Reddell, or Redwell, I should say. He actually saw a story on Fox 32 News, and he decided that he had to step in and do something. And guess what? He let us be in on the surprise. Take a look. Man, I would love to support y'all, but I don't got no money. Let me, uh, let me actually see what I can do. My friends, can I forget lemonade? So again, that is Sean Redwell, the Chicago Sky in-game host. Fox 32 again on the surprise with him. The Chicago Sky's chief marketing officer showed up. And so did the new mascot, Sky the Lioness. The real stars of the show, though, no doubt, Jade and Joy Lee. The 12 and 11-year-old sisters are young entrepreneurs who put this entire stand together. They wanted to work to raise money for the Sky Tickets Friday when the team takes on Indiana Fever. And we all also know, of course, that is Barbie night when Wintrust Arena will go pink for the very first time along with Mattel. The girls now have all access. It's true, though, hard work really pays off after they work Monday, Tuesday, and again today, right here on 111th and Princeton, selling lemonade for a dollar, but really accepting any and all donations. Their mother says this really is a dream come true. connected us, uh, contacted me, said you guys got an email, tried to do everything in my power to get the team to come out and support this particular group. Of, they've been working hard in the neighborhood, after school, coming out, setting up a business, giving real good energy to the community, so I had to do everything I could possible to make sure that this team came over to support these young ladies and get them to Barbie night for sure. So what we have been seeing out here, you see the Chicago police, a lot of first responders driving by. There is a Chicago police station right on 111th, right near the Bishop Ford Expressway. We've seen a lot of those officers come over here and support the girls. Also, a lot of uh, Chicago firefighters that have been making their rounds down the street right at Roseland Hospital. You know, it's really uh, amazing to see. I grew up right down the street from here, uh, one of the places I grew up at 111th and Green Street. So you usually don't don't see something positive like this happen in the community. So this is definitely something positive that has happened for these young girls. So again, it's true that hard work pays off. They've actually raised two thousand dollars from this lemonade stand and the night is still young they'll be out here until 5 30 and we also know a businessman stepped up and gave them two thousand dollars just yesterday so that is a combined totally so far of four thousand wow. dollars so uh, i was talking to the mom i said hey what are you going to do with yeah. this money this additional money that you have now and she said maybe finally they'll be able to take a family vacation Aww. also one other thing that i 
I want to point out, um, there's enough tickets for the cousins, too, that you saw standing here with me, the one that wanted to take my job. The family's not <laughs> just going to get four tickets. They're actually going to get eight tickets wow. from the Chicago Sky and a behind-the-scenes experience like none other, something that I've never experienced, Terrence and Sylvia, I'm sure you've never experienced. Mm. And you know what? I'm happy because these young girls, they really deserve it. A lot of times we see kids, they're asking their parents for stuff. Everything is expensive, okay? Parents just don't have the money just dig in their pockets and pull out money for every single thing. But to see kids say, I want something and go mm -hmm. work for it, yeah. I think that's really the takeaway in this story this evening. Hey, Live Tia. in Roseland, Tia Ewing, Fox, yeah. Do they have their pink outfits ready? What's going on? Do they have their pink outfits ready? Let's ask them. Hey, Joy, Joy, come here real quick. Here, I'll have you ask her yourself I'll, and your sister. They want to know if you have your pink outfits uh, ready to go for the game on Friday. Oh, yeah. What are you wearing? It's a surprise. It's a surprise. It's a surprise. You're not going to reveal it all? No, but it's so going to look So good. they're not, they know how to. Y'all won't see, but we're going we gonna to be coming through. They know, okay. how to, they know how to tease you, don't they? Yes, they do. They, they coming through, they say. Hey, All right, let me it. hear your jingle. Let through. me hear your jingle real quick. Oh. Ice cold lemonade. Okay. Ice cold. Okay, wait, wait, okay. Yeah. hold on. So hold on. Oh, Leo, Leo, Leo. Oh, Leo, Leo, Leo. Ice, ice, ice. Ice, ice, ice. <laughs> ice. Come and get your lemonade. Come and get your lemonade. Hey, hey, ice hey, cold hey, lemonade. Hey, hey. Ice It's a hit yeah. record right there. I'm sorry. Can I get some of that lemonade? I love it. Yeah, I want to hear how it tastes. Know, I told them. They need to bottle this lemonade. It it's is so that good. good. I don't want to know the secret recipe, but I do think that it is that good that we can see it in the stores. And I'm not just saying that. I really mean it. And wow. hopefully I need this cup. It's bring so good. Back. And I'm so thirsty. <laughs> and it's so hot. I'm going to try to bring y'all some back to the studio. Oh, okay? too. We love it. Best story yeah, of the day. Thanks, Tia. Stop, stop. One last sip. Oh, I love oh, that. We, oh, what a we great know. story. Let's check the forecast. <laughs> For the two young Chicago Sky fans we told you about yesterday who started a lemonade stand to earn money for tickets to Friday's game against the Indiana Fever. WGN's Dana Revick has been covering this for us. She's live for us in Roseland now with the update. Dana? Well, you can see the girls stand just across the street from me. Uh, they set this up on Monday to, again to try to raise money to go to the Sky Game versus the Indiana Fever for the big Barbie night on Friday. And yesterday we showed you they got a huge donation from two Chicago business owners of $2,000. And today, just about a half an hour ago, they got an even bigger surprise. We have a very special gift for you guys. Barbie <laughs> that is the chief marketing officer there, host of the Chicago Sky and mascot, Sky Lioness, came by the lemonade stand here at 111th in Princeton to meet sisters Joy and Jade Lee and present them with four tickets to Friday's game. The girls set up their stand today at about 2.30 this afternoon after they got done with school. And prior to the Sky representatives getting here, the girls had a long line of customers. Word has gotten out all over Chicago about their efforts. We saw police officers with the 5th District stop by, as well as the Chicago Fire Department ambulance pulling over, and two paramedics got out to support the cause as well. Uh, word spreading very quickly this week about these young ladies and the Chicago Sky took notice too. We read about it in the paper and we heard they built the lemonade stand and it was their dream come true to go to the Barbie game and we said we had to come and help. We're going to lay out the red carpet for them. We have a bunch of different things that we can't discuss fully, but we're going to give them a VIP treatment that they will remember for the rest of their life for sure. Everybody just loved that the children are willing to work for what they want. And I am, I was, I've been crying all day and my kids was looking at me like, Mom, like, it really has touched my heart. Like, it's amazing to see so many people coming.
people come from Indiana. We, a man just said he was here from Texas and he wanted to stop by. The girls will be enjoying a limo ride to the game. They're going out to dinner at a fancy restaurant. And because they got all of those donations, it sounds like they are going to be inviting uh, some of their cousins and other family members to join them as well. This game kicks off at 630 on Friday evening, and we hope to join them as well so we can share that experience with you guys. Live in Roseland, Dana Rebic, WGN News. All right.